Hi everyone and welcome to the Art of Online Marketing live show. Today I'm going to be talking about the golden rule of social media marketing. So hi everyone, my name is Denise Allison and I am the owner of Stratigro. I am a social media expert and I work with business owners to empower them to use social media to connect with their audience and build relationships with their potential customers on social media. And best of all, I help them have fun while doing it because business is supposed to be fun, right? So I cannot believe that it's almost the end of November. We have a little bit more than a week left to, to the month and it feels like summer is just yesterday. Now it's freezing and it was snowing yesterday. So tomorrow I'm actually wrapping up my 10 week social media marketing program for the Chamber of Commerce and it went by so fast. I remember planning it in my schedule and writing it all down into my schedule a few weeks before it started and thinking, wow, 10 weeks is a long time, but here we are and it's over. So one session or well, actually two sessions in the books for now and I'm hoping to be able to offer that again sometime in the not too distant future, hopefully for either the Chamber of Commerce again or some other organization. So today's topic is the golden rule of social media marketing. So it's the end of 2017, almost uh, just a month and a little bit left to go. And by now, most businesses know that they need to have a social media presence. And we really understand the importance of having a, a presence on Facebook or Instagram or some other social media site. We know that we need to have it and we know we need to have that presence to promote our business and to make sure our customers know who we are and where to find us. But the majority of small business owners aren't really taking full advantage of social media the way that they should. And that's what I want to talk about today. So before we get started, I want to remind you about Stratigro's social media awards. Um, so those are going on. The nomination is open now and they are open until next week on the 28th. So head over to stratigro.ca and click on social media business awards and nominate your favorite businesses who are on, on social media, who are doing a great job with their social media. Okay, so today's topic, the golden rule of social media marketing. Okay, this is a big mistake that I see businesses do all the time when it comes to social media. And that mistake is most people are using social media and making it about marketing. Meaning that they're always posting about their products, they're always posting about how great they are and how great their business is, and sign up for this, buy this, etc., and on and on. And what these businesses are really missing out on is relationship building. So one of the biggest challenges the business owners face, I know because I've been there and I've also seen it over and over and over again, one of the biggest challenges they face is just not knowing what to post. They sit down at their computer or at their phone and they're like, okay, so, so what do I say? So they start a page and it's like, okay, what do I do now? I don't know what to say to my audience. So what they do, um, they just instantly jump into marketing themselves and being promotional because they just don't know what else to say. Right, um, And that's what they think they're supposed to do because that's how they've been trained to look at selling themselves. And they just don't know what else to say, right? So basically they are recreating ads. Um, ads, yes, they're recreating the ads that are going elsewhere. So magazines, newspaper, radio, wherever else you might put ads, right? Um, but guess what? Salesy posts on social media just aren't effective. They won't work to help you make more sales and attract more customers. And here's why. So first of all, most people just don't like being sold to. Um, you don't want to be sold to, right? So you go on social media, either in the daytime or in the evening, you're on social media and you're there to connect with your family, to connect with your friends, to see cute dog videos. I know I'm not the only one looking at those cute dog videos, but the point is you are there to connect with people. So people just don't respond well to being bombarded with salesy 
posts. They are there to network and socialize. Huh? Get it? Uh, not to buy things. So that leads me to reason number two, the algorithm. So I've talked about this before, but if you don't know what the algorithm is, it's basically a secret formula that decides who is going to see your posts and how many people see your posts. And this is based on actions, interests, engagement, and a whole bunch of other factors are, are taken into account when the algorithm is deciding who your post is being shown to. So the algorithm is the reason that not everybody sees your posts, even if they've already liked your page. So we've been over this before. It's probably an average of 2% of the people who like your page are actually seeing any particular post. And again, that's average. So you might be doing way better or you might be doing a little bit worse. Hopefully not. Um, but basically each platform has their own algorithm, but they run on the same basic principles. So if you want to learn more about the algorithm, I do have an a other video where I talk about it um, for like 20 minutes. So you can find that on my Facebook page or on strateaker.ca under blogs. So basically these platforms, they know that their audience and their members don't want to be sold to, and they want their users to have a good time so that they stick around and spend more time on their platform. This is how these platforms make money, right? So they set up their algorithms to make sure that anything overly salesy or promotional or that's pushing something, uh, it's making sure that those posts are limited. So if you are, are posting something that's really salesy and promotional, it's automatically going to get low reach. So if you go into your insights and check out your posts, you'll see that the ones that are promotional and salesy get the lowest reach. And that is not a coincidence. It's done like that on, on purpose. Okay. So what gives, what do you post then? So you need to follow the golden rule, which is also known as the 80, 20 rule. Um, and this is the golden rule of social media marketing. So the 80-20 rule is a guideline to make sure that you aren't being too promotional or salesy on your social media pages. It means that 80% of the time, yes, eight, zero, 80% 80 of the time you are posting valuable content for your audience. So you're sharing educational and entertaining content, informative content, valuable content, and you are relationship building with your audience and your potential customers. So once you put in the time to do that, you, then you can share some promotional posts um, because you have given and now you can take. So the goal here is to give way more than you take. 80% is a lot more than 20%. It's four times more. So this means if you are posting five times a week, um, regularly you post five times a week, every day, weekday, that means that four of those posts are going to be educational and informative and meant for engagement and relationship building. And one of those posts can be a little bit more, more promotional. So social media is a really bad place for selling. I've said this a few times before, but I think it's worth saying again. So there are too many distractions on social media. Like your feed is going, like all these things are popping up in your feed. There's ads here, there's ads there. People are sending you messages. Uh, there's all kinds of things happening. There's competitors and it just plain old turns people off when you're trying to sell to them and they're having a good time. So think of it like this. You're at a networking event and someone comes up to you and instead of getting to know you and build a relationship with you, they just automatically start talking about why their business and their product is so great and why you should buy it. It's kind of the same thing, right? Um, but social media is an amazing place for relationship building, which is the point of everything. I say this every single time probably, um, but think of it this way. You constantly have your audience at your fingertips, right? Okay. So you can interact with them on a daily basis. You can provide them with, enormous value so easily because they're always there and you can teach them how to do something. You can get to know them better by asking questions and you can help them get to know you on a more personal level uh, by sharing more about you than just the business or the brand. So you can easily build those relationships because that communication portal is always open. It makes it a lot more effective. So people want to connect with the people behind a business, not a faceless, nameless 
logo. And social media gives you an amazing ability to do that every single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So think of it like making friends and networking, but you don't even need to brush your teeth to go out and do it. I mean, you probably should, but you don't have to, right? <laughs> So it's just a great opportunity to network and, and make friends. And it's there all the time, like I said. So people buy from people they know, like, and trust. I know I say this one all the time, but it's because it is true. And it's something that people seem to forget. So your audience and your potential customers, they need to know who you are and what you're all about before they think about buying from you. So how do you get to this? 80% uh, of the golden rule. So posting 80% valuable informative co content. So I have a few tips for you. So number one is thinking about what questions um, do you always get asked by your customers or your audience? So you're an expert at, at something, whatever it is you do, you're an expert at that. Um, so naturally people are going to ask you questions about it, how you do certain things um, and, and that type of thing. And so if you're getting asked the same questions over and over, that should be a clue to you that that's something that your audience wants to know more about. So use these questions to, to create the basis of, of your content. So if people are asking something, it means that probably more people want to know that. So let the questions that your audience asks you determine what type of content you're going to put out there. And it takes the guesswork out of it because you don't need to ask yourself, hmm, I wonder what my audience wants to know more about because they are already telling you by asking you those questions. So it makes it really easy. So by answering some of these more common questions, you're going to be educating your audience and providing them with value. So this qualifies under that 80% educational, valuable, informative, entertaining content. So yay. What do you want your audience to know? So not only should you be going on what questions they're asking you, uh, there are tons of things that if my audience knew, it would make their lives so much easier, but they don't really know to ask because they just don't know. So by sharing this valuable information with my audience and my potential customers, I'm able to move them forward in their journey, which is a great thing. So first of all, it helps me position myself as an expert and as an authority in my field. And it proves that I have the knowledge to do what I say that I know how to do, which of course I do. And so do you. Uh, so another thing is it opens up doors. So sometimes it's a matter of your audience not knowing what they don't know. So by introducing them to a certain topic and teaching them a certain amount of it and teaching them the basics, they will naturally want to know more. And once it's time to, for them to want to reach out to somebody to help them move even further in that process, guess who they're going to reach out to? The person who's already gotten them some quick wins and has helped them move forward in that already. So hopefully that will be you. And then number three, what do you want your audience to know about you? You as a person. What makes you unique? What do you do when you're not working? How do you approach your work? So these are all things that help your audience get to know you on a deeper level and it will help certain people connect with you even better and eventually say, yes, this is the right person to help me get what I want. So, I mean, it's a little bit difficult to really put yourself out there and you probably wouldn't believe, well, you might believe this because you, you might be one of them, but there's so many business owners who are very hesitant to get in front of the camera and to put their face and their personality on their brand. They feel like they're being selfish or they're being narcissistic. But remember, it's not about you. It's about the business. And by putting your personality and the personality of the people and the faces of the people inside of the business, on onto the business and attaching that to the brand, you are doing it for the greater good of your business. So don't feel like you are being, you want to be the celebrity in the spotlight. Just think of it as a necessary evil, if you will, something that you need to do to help people connect with your business and your brand. Okay. So there we have it, the golden rule of social media marketing, and that is sharing valuable, informative content 80% of the time and only sharing promotional content 20% of the time. 
Okay, so don't forget to nominate your favorite businesses for Stratigro's 2017 Social Media Business Awards. So there are five categories. One, the IP by Pants Award. So this is for people and businesses, well, it's for businesses, right? So business pages that are really funny on social media and get their point across with humor. There's the eye candy award. So that's for any businesses who are doing a great job visually, whether it's images, whether it's videos, whether it's graphics, uh, that kind of thing, eye candy award. Hot for teacher. So this is somebody who is teaching you through social media. Um, this is an example. I am teaching you things on a regular basis. The Noob Award is so someone who has started their social media presence in 2017 and is doing an amazing job. And then there's the big category, the cat's pajamas. So that is the best overall social media presence. So go over to strategra.ca, click on social media business awards, and you can nominate people right here. So it's open to any business in North America, but please only nominate businesses that um, you know, like you've been to that business and you've interacted with them on some level before. And also feel free to nominate yourself. Nobody will know, well, except for me, but I'm not going to judge you. Uh, so like I said, head over to strategia.ca, click on social media business awards, and you can nominate people right there. So nominations are open for another week. They end at midnight on November 28th and the winners will be announced on December 14th. And I've also brought on a couple of celebrity judges to help the judging process. So I'll share more details about that in, in the next few days. All right, so I'll see everybody next week. I go live every Tuesday at 10 a.m. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. And if you want to see any of my past videos, head over to my Facebook page or my website, strategra.ca, and they're all there under blog. Okay, bye. See everybody next week.